Hello everyone. Uh, it's uh, Friday, September 18th, uh, 2015, and um, in Tampa. Uh, I just want to say a statement, which uh, I, maybe I have repeated uh, in many of my videos, and I will repeat it. I'm not an expert. I'm just like a weekend gardener who loves to garden and uh, basically uh, my experience was based on trial and error and uh, basically my uh, message is always for new gardeners or maybe some expert gardeners who have problem with um, some sort of like special crop or special vegetable special fruit um, today I wanna uh, explain to you my experience with seeding uh, for example, it's uh, today temperature is 89. Uh, you may want to add like another 8 or 10 degrees, so that means still in the 90s. Uh, as soon as September came, I uh, started to seed um, uh, uh, a lot of actually uh, vegetables. And um, uh, basically, what I followed here is the uh, garden guide, and uh, this is. Um, Uh, I got this from Shell's Feed. You may want to check my other video where they are located uh, exactly. But uh, they uh, put this uh, free of charge uh, for their customer. And if you take a look here, for example, it says like September to plant broccoli, cabbage, celery, colored corn, blah, 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 all this over here, herbs, and also uh, what else to do in September. Uh, so what I did is I planted these outside so uh, again like the first two weeks of September we're still in the 90s uh, unfortunately I had a germination rate of almost uh, I would say 20% uh, in all these uh, what I've ever planned and and, and uh, maybe even sometimes 0% like the strawberry uh, so what I've done is last uh, last Sunday, which was uh, 13th, uh, September 13th, is I planted my seeds inside door. I mean, uh, if, uh, in, inside the house, it's almost like anywhere from 78 to 81 degree. And uh, some of those was planted in um, um, in seed and in, in, in soil. I mix um, five. Um, uh, five portions of uh, coconut coir and um, and uh, peat moss and um, <clears throat> some of these seeds I just used water and um, sorry just uh, and uh, um, paper towels as you can see here but it's underneath there's some coconut quite Surprisingly, as you can see right now, actually I, I planted more than this, but some of those already have grown so fast it even sprouted like after uh, less than 48 hours, like the tomato and the and the eggplant, and uh, I had to get them outside. So uh, in the next couple of days, I'm, I'm gonna uh, see that if they are um, gonna grow outside or or uh, or they're gonna die. But uh, as you can see right here, for example, this is the sage and it starts to sprout. Okay, I got here green onions. The sweet pepper has not sprouted yet, so I'm just gonna keep, uh, keep it uh, wet. Hot pepper is starting to come out very, not a lot, but uh, at least like it's coming out. I actually had zero uh, percent germination when I try to plant it outside. Surprisingly, everybody's gonna think, so hot pepper, that means hot, it needs hot weather. No, it's, it's, it's not like this. Uh, so I got here malbar spinach, lemongrass, which have already sprouted right here. Uh, coriander failed again. Um, I, I guess I have to wait until it's almost like 70 outside. I planted outside and I had zero germination, but again, it's the same thing over here also as well. So, um, I'm gonna... Uh, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna walk through this uh, paper. If I could um, scan it and post it somewhere, I'll let you know. Uh, I guess the guy at the store he said uh, 
that uh, this uh, should be available at the USF uh, gardening or uh, I don't know where that, I have to ask him but um, I'm walking through very slow here so maybe you can see something that can benefit you all right anyhow if you have any questions just uh, let me know drop me a message thank you